Hey there, I got only Thomas set up if you want to play. Yeah, sure, let's jump in. Now if you look in the corner of this card here, you'll notice there's a red square, which means that I'll be going first. That uh, doesn't really seem fair, since you had all this set up when I got here. I picked these cards randomly, I swear. Anyways, want me to teach you how to play? Actually, I uh, took a peek at the rules here. I think I pretty much understand what's going on. Okay, well the easiest oh, yeah. way to Just think ignore. about this okay is to choose one of the two cards in front of you, so let's say tiger, and then one of your pawns, either students or your master. Now let's just pick this one here. So if you look at the card, there's a black square that shows where you are on the board. And then the other highlighted squares show where you can move. So in this case, I could either move one space backwards or two spaces forwards. Now I actually couldn't have moved one space backwards because that would put me off the board, which you can't do. I also can't move on to my own pieces. Now I can move on to your pieces, and that will capture them. So I guess that's how you win then. Pretty much. There's actually two ways to win though. The way of the stone is capturing your opponent's master, as you mentioned. The way of the stream though, is getting your own master into your opponent's temple. So really, we're just going to use these cards back and forth until somebody wins. At the end of your turn, you'll discard the card you used, and then take the one from the center, because that will be one of your options for the next round. Which means this tiger will now go into the center for you. It's polite to leave it facing your opponent, so they can plan their future turns. Okay, well, I don't really have a plan yet, so uh, I'm just gonna use the frog here and take a little hippity hoppity over there. So now you get the frog and I got the tiger. A good thing to think about is what your opponent can do on their next turn. So for example, I know you can't move forward just one space, which means that it's pretty safe for me to use the horse and move in there. That'll leave you with the horse and I'll take the frog. I think you might have missed something there, buddy. Can I just use this tiger here to hop on over and capture your piece? Yeah, you can actually. Your pieces don't block your movement. Good catch. Thanks, I, uh, I thought so too, but uh, oh. Drop my little guy there. Okay, sit him back in the middle. And uh, where do I put this? Just sit him over here? Yeah, that works. Now I gotta give you this tiger, so it's a good thing you can't use that against me. I'm gonna get the horse there. Uh, I think you fell right into my trap here though. because so I'm gonna use the dragon to move all the way over here. That dragon's got wings, so gave me a nice little jump. And now I got the tiger for the next round. Ah, yeah, I see what you did there. Although, weirdly enough, it looks like I could just slide right in here with the horsey and you can't really do anything about it. I, uh, how about that? You think that, you think that's a good move? Okay, yeah, yeah, you got me there. Um, it looks like you're not going to be able to capture me on your next turn either, though, so we're just kind of having this little stare down here. I'm pretty good at staring contests. Well, at the very least, I gotta try to make this a little tougher for you, so... I'm going to use the frog to, to slide right in there. We're really getting in each other's face in this game. Yeah, we, uh, we really are. I uh, can't even use my mantis to come and get you, because he's going to get me with that tiger there, right? Yeah, looks like you're in a pretty tough spot. Oh, wait a minute. I got this uh, dragon there. The dragon's going to come over and take this one. Yeah, I got two of your pieces now. You're not doing so well there now. How you like, uh, how you like losing to a first-timer? You feel good about that? I'm starting to think you've played this before. Well, I might have played chess once or twice. Well, I'm gonna have to start being aggressive if I want to get things done, so I'm gonna move there with the tiger. And that'll give me that dragon, which uh, I feel like I'm gonna need to protect myself here. So I'm just gonna have to uh, prey on you a little bit here with the mantis. Get it? Like a, like a praying mantis. <laughs> okay, it's over to you. Well, I finally get a chance to capture one of your pieces here with the dragon, and uh, I don't think you can hit me back either. So, things are starting to turn around for me. I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah, you're, uh, you're absolutely right. Things, things were looking pretty good for you, but uh, they're not going to look good anymore after I do this. Taking a little tiger there for a ride, and uh, now I got a dragon for next round. And... Uh, you probably see what that means, huh? I do. That means you win. Uh, it, it doesn't matter where I move, because it, if I move away from the shrine to protect my master, 
then I just get to come in here and uh, take your shrine. Well then, that's it. Thanks for the game. I definitely want a rematch sometime, though. Yeah, I'll stomp you later. You know, the original version of the game actually had a turtle card. It just didn't end up in the reprint. Yeah, I don't really, uh, don't really like turtles. It came with a turtle card. Turtle card.